So fall is here, fall is officially here and winter is coming. I've never been a fan of fall, never been a fan of winter, but in China it's especially tough because you look outside and it's just so awful. It's just so awful. It's a gray, hazy mess and it's just not nice. I mean, especially in Sichuan and in Chengdu, this is basically the sky that you get from I don't know, uh, October till about March. You really never see the sun in those however many months it is, like what, five months? You don't see the sun, it's bad. And you of course have to keep track of the pollution. You have to keep track of like what the air is like and it's not fun. Um, but something you can do to avoid the kind of politicization, is that a word? The politicizing <laughs> of those apps and websites and things like that. You can actually buy yourself a PM 2.5 reader and see what the AQI is actually like and see what the PM 2.5 is actually right. Now, PM 2.5, you guys may know, it's these particles that float around in the air. They're, uh, what, 2.5 microns across. They can get into your lungs, they can get into your bloodstream. They're very, very harmful. Um, so you can actually buy these right here. This is called the Laser Egg, and it's not a sponsor, but it is something that was given to me by a friend. It actually will tell you what the pollution is like wherever you have this. So in my home, it is 35 with the AQI CN. So this is a different standard. It actually, you know, it is a little politicized. It's, it's lower than what the real number actually is. And you can actually hit another button up on the top and it'll tell you what the US one is, which could be politicized as well. Um, and so I usually try to think uh, it's about in the middle. So, you know, you've got like 30 to 67 in here. So maybe the real AQI in my house is about 50. So let's just say that. And you can actually hit another button and it shows you the real, the real time PM 2.5. And it does that through, uh, right here, there's a fan, focus. There's a fan in here and it pulls in air and then it, uh, you know, analyzes the air wherever you have this. So, so for example, you could, uh, and there's the actual particle count right there. So it does change constantly because there's always air being drawn in through that, through that fan. So you could, for example, open this, open this window, stick it outside, and get a live count, and see there it's going up. See how fast that goes up? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not nice, is it? It's not nice, and you see, and that's the Chinese one. That is, you know, lower than it actually is. So I can hit it, look at the American one, which is probably higher than it actually is. And it just, so it's hitting about 183, okay, 184, so we'll call it that for the AQI. This takes into account PM 2.5, PM 10, uh, pollen, and all kinds of other things. So, and then there's the raw PM 2.5 numbers, which is not good. So normally PM 2.5, I think WHO wants it to be under 30. So these are the amount of particles per square meter, which is really bad. So it should be under 30. I think so this is what more than four times the recommended amount and then when you pull it back inside we can watch wow this really makes the place look dark this place is not that dark <laughs> so you can instantly see the numbers dropping hold on let me, let me flip on some lights okay so yeah the numbers instantly drop okay so that shows that what I'm using right here the Xiaomi air purifier it actually does work because you can, for example, just put it right here above it and it goes down even more. I mean, I could just sit here all day and let it, uh, let it go down, but the Xiaomi air purifier does actually work. The PM 2.5 numbers do drop. Okay. Cause when I take it away, they'll go right back up again. Oh my gosh. This place is not that dark. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're going, they're starting to go back up. Wow, hold on, let me let the light readjust. <laughs> let me turn on another light here. Okay, so now we're up to 19. 
And then I also have this Smart Air, which is just a HEPA filter, which is put um, in front of a fan. So again, I can put this in front of here, and it should, in theory, be going down. Okay, so there's 20, 19. So again, yes, it goes down with the uh, Smart Air filter right there. So if you use these two, then, wow, it's under 10. <laughs> so if you use these two, you can actually fight pollution right here in your home. Now this is one of the many things you can do this time of year, of course, you can get one of these, you can get the air purifiers, you can buy masks, you can do a lot of stuff to make sure that you are protected against the pollution and you at least have one less thing to worry about. Um, but I don't know, still, I don't enjoy this time of year very much. I don't put out as much content. I don't generally like doing anything. But that's the way it goes, you know. Uh, you win some, you lose some. China's a great place to live. I absolutely love it. But this is just one thing that is not so nice. You know, got to be real about stuff. So you can pick up this laser egg. Um, I believe that new, these cost about 500 yuan. So it's like 80 bucks. Um, 80 bucks, it is a pretty good uh, PM 2.5 reader uh, or just AQI reader. Uh, there are a lot of expats in China who use this um, along with the Xiaomi and the Smart Air. I believe that these three products are kind of the most popular ones used around China. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you have any questions about um, pollution or if you want any resources, you can um, you know, leave a comment down below. I can point you in the direction of whatever you may want. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I will probably make another video a little bit later this week uh, about some other random stuff going on in my life, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. See you all next time.